Alright, here we're going to talk about um, summation notation and finding a sum. And when you look at summation notation, um, down here in the bottom, this is the number you'll be starting with. Um, this is the variable they're using. So we'll be starting by replacing i with 0. This is the expression we'll be using, 2 to the i power. So as we go through, we're going to be changing our values of i. And we're going to go until we reach this number up here of 4. So we'll have uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So you just start, and summation means to add. So we start with our first term, which is 2 to the, again, we're supposed to start with 0, so 2 to the 0 power. Again, you just use this expression, replace the variable with whichever number you are on, plus 2 to the first power, okay, the 0, 1, plus 2 to the second power, plus 2 to the third power, plus 2 to the fourth power, and we were supposed to stop when i was 4, so that's as far as we're going to go. And then we just uh, find those values and add them together. Oh, anything to the 0 power is 1, and then 2 to the first is 2, 2 squared is 4, 2 to the third is 8, and 2 to the fourth is 16. If we add all of those together, we get 37. So that would be our sum. Oh, sorry. I read my writing wrong. 31 looks better. I was double checking. I misread my handwriting. So, sorry, 31 would be the sum. And we would write that as our answer. So, again, the important summation notation is, of course, the expression you're using. Uh, down here is the number you start with to plug in for your variable. And up here is the number you end with. And then you just add all of those terms together. Do another. I'm going to do three examples here. So here's our second example. We're supposed to start where we change this to k because it should be the same variable. Where k is three, and we're going to go from three to six. Here is our expression. It's one over two times whatever our k is. Again, we start with k being three, so our first term would be one over two times three plus one over 2 times 4, you just go, continue to go up one number at a time, 1 over 2 times 5, and 1 over 2 times 6, and we stop there because our number at the top here was 6, so we would stop when k is 6, and then we just simplify those, so we have 1 6 plus 1 8 plus 1 10 plus 1 12 and we add all those fractions. Remember, you have to have a common denominator, or you could use your calculator. Um, you should get 19 over 40. Okay, if you did this by hand, your common denominator would be 120. You'd add those together, and you'd be able to reduce that. So our summation is 1940th. Here is the one last example. Again, I have a little error to fix there in my typing. Okay, we're going from n equals 0 to n equals 3. And this is our expression. It's 2 times n minus 1 times x to the n. Notice we have two variables there, but our summation notation is telling us to start where n is 0. Okay, so the x is just going to stay an x in all of these terms. So let's get started. Our first term is where n is 0. So we have 2 times 0 minus 1 times x to the 0 power. Plus, our next term is 2 times 1 minus 1 times x to the first power. And you just continue up. We start at n being 0. Now we've done n equals 1. Let's do n equals 2. 2 times 2 minus 1 times x to the second power, and we're supposed to stop at 3, so this is our last term, 2 times 3 minus 1 x to the third power. Okay, up here at the top, so let's stop right there. 
Let's simplify these. 2 times 0 is 0, minus 1 is negative 1, and x to the 0 power, anything to the 0 power is just 1. So we get negative 1 times 1 here. Our next term, 2 times 1 is 2, minus 1 is 1, times x to the first power. Next, we have 2 times 2 is 4, minus 1 is 3, times x squared, plus 2 times 3 is 6, minus 1 is 5, x to the third. So we end up with negative 1 plus x to the first, plus 3x squared, plus 5x to the third. That's as simplified as that gets, because none of those are like terms, so we can't actually add them together. So there is our summation.